Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As I promised, I got more Christmas catalogs from the 70s and 80s. And this one will be covering the Star Wars merchandise, not just toys. Um, anything Star Wars related that I come across, I'm going to put in here. So, um, this was the first year that they had Star Wars merchandise in the catalogs, I believe, 1978. Um, they did the early bird stuff in 77 when the movie came out, and I'm sure most collectors know about the early bird thing. They didn't have figures ready, so they sent out like a rain check kind of thing. And you got the figures later, you just got like a backdrop, basically, to display your figures in front of. And then in 78, they actually started getting stuff in the catalogs. So I'm going to start with this page. So, this is the opening where, this is the 1978 uh, J.C. Penney's Christmas catalog, by the way. And in this opening, we got the uh, Kenner toys. We also got some cool, looks like Halloween costumes like they had back in the day. Um, plastic mask. Weapons shown not included. So, let me line this up a little better. I'm sorry. So, they had a Darth Vader, a Stormtrooper, a C3PO, and a Chewbacca. And then you could also get the laser pistol, and the lightsaber, and the laser rifle. It's kind of interesting to note that lightsabers spelled s-a-b-r-e two words and it's yellow and it's only four dollars and 47 cents darth vader costume 749 all the costumes are 749 and then the han solo pistol here that's 697 and then you got the laser rifle and it's 1097 And then we got the remote control R2-D2, which I'm actually doing a video, working on a video on that. I got one I'm trying to restore, so um, it's not going to look that good. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to figure out how to make the chrome dome part restore it. But I've got it pretty white again, and I'm, I think I got it working. But um, I'll do put that video up. It'll be down the road. But it's twenty four nine seven. Then you get your twelve inch figures, and they're nine seven nine seven each. Some of them are seven forty seven. Uh, R two D two is only six nine seven. Got Darth Vader, Darth Vader, C three PO, R two D two, Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker, and Princess Leia. And on the other page, we have the. Land speeder that's remote control. It's got a little R2 D2 remote. It's only 1097. I think those are worth a lot of money. I, I think they're kind of rare. And then up here you got the first X Wing it came out that was white. Or TIE Fighter, I'm sorry. And the X Wing. And X Wings, they're only 997 each. The X Wing, somebody circled this one. It's Matt, Matt wants X-Wing for Christmas, so make note. <laughs> and then down here you got the really cool Darth, the Death Star playset. And then you got those little die casts. Oh, the Death Star playset is only seventeen eighty eight. Look at that. That's nice. Man, I wish prices were like they used to be. Then you got the, your, they're kind of die casts, I think. Let's see what it says about them. Um, well, I don't say. I think they were die cast. And you had a land speeder and an X Wing and a TIE Fighter. Then you got some action figure sets. And it looks like they were $747 for four figures. That's a great set price. And 
This set has C-3PO, R2-D2, Ben Kenobi, and Luke Skywalker. And this set has Darth Vader, uh, Tuscan Raider, and or Sand People, whichever you prefer. And it says Sand People Warrior on here. And you get two Stormtroopers. And in this one you get Han Solo, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, and a Jawa. Kind of interesting to note, the jaw has already got the cloth cloak in this first catalog it was ever in. For JC Penney's anyway. Alright, and then uh, i got a list over here of page numbers. So I'm going to just kind of start at the beginning. I want to start with the action figures. But we'll just kind of go in order from there. So page 271, you got the Star Wars bed sheets and curtains. You get a twin size bed spread for $26.90. It has sheet sets you can get for about seven or eight dollars. Drapes looks like they were anywhere from seven to four or seven to eighteen dollars, depending on what kind of set you wanted and the size and length. All right, then we go to page three ninety three. And we got the R2-D2 and Chewbacca dolls. And they were plush. I actually got that Chewbacca doll when I was a kid. I still have it somewhere. He don't look that fluffy. He never did. Actually, he looked kind of... His hair never was that fluffy. Maybe I just didn't brush it out or something. I still have it with the little bandolier and everything. I remember I was really young and... I couldn't speak very clearly and I told my grandma I wanted a Chewbacca doll and she asked my mom what what a chewing tobacco doll was because she thought I asked for a chewing tobacco doll. <laughs> I never got the R2-D2 though. He just didn't seem like he should be plush I guess so I wasn't really worried about getting him. But he was only six ninety nine, and then Chewbacca was nine ninety nine. There's some, you'll see other cool pictures in here. And I will be going over those in other videos eventually. I'm going to do one on Muppets and one on Sesame Street. And there's so many different topics in these old catalogs that they each need their own videos. So, so just en enjoy the sneak peeks for now. All right, the next page is 405. Let's see what's on for. Oh, 405 just has a. Uh, a battery powered Star Wars toothbrush. And let's see. I think it just moved, is all it did. I don't think it made noise or anything. I mean, it probably made a motor noise of some kind, but um, it was mainly just a. My, my sister had one kind of like that, it was a Barbie toothbrush, and it was just like an electric toothbrush, like it, it vibrated. And it said Barbie on it, and this one's Star Wars version of that. It's four seventy-seven. The next page, number four thirty-two. It's a black and white page. On that page, they got the Escape the Death Star game. It was four ninety-seven. That's the one they re-released lately with the. Tarkin retro collection figure. All right, the next page we got is 444 and 445. I think that's the ones we just saw. No, that's different ones. Okay. Um, so on this one, you got the Star Wars TIE Fighter game. And so Star Wars, I'm not familiar with that. Star Wars X-Wing Aces Target game. A TIE fighter on the screen, let's see, on the prowl from the Death Star passes across the 10 by 
12 inch screen fire a burst from your laser blaster it shoots a beam of light on each direct hit you'll see an explosion on the screen and hear a bell automatic scorekeeper dial on front it's plastic 23 and 3 quarter inches by 14 and a half inches by 11 and 3 quarter inches one or more players ages six and up it was 57 dollars and 87 cents that was an expensive toy for back then so maybe that's why i never saw any all my friends probably couldn't afford that and they were more into the action figures so they probably that's probably why they're kind of rare i don't, I don't really know much about that if anybody had that or knows much about it, put it, leave a comment. I'm interested in knowing if it was any good or not. And over here you got another Star Wars game. And let's see. It's F. It was $29.95. It was pretty high too. Electronics games were just starting to be the fad. And they were kind of expensive at first, I think. <clears throat> let's see what it says. Test your reflexes racing X-Wing fighters to the dreaded Death Star. Hit your button after each signal. Move your fighter forward or send your opponents back. Flashing LEDs keep track. Victory is fanfared by a light and sound display that includes the theme from Star Wars. Three speeds to increase your skills. 18 inches long. Plastic. Uses one 9 volt battery. Battery not included. Or use house current AC adapter included. All right, so that one's pretty cool too. I hadn't, I don't know anything about that one. So same thing, if you, if you had that and know anything about it, leave a comment because that one's one of those. That's a good thing about these catalogs I like. I come across stuff I didn't even know about or wasn't very familiar with or I've forgotten about. So it's fun to go back and say, oh yeah, I remember seeing that picture, but I never saw one in person. Next one's 450. Not really a Star Wars item, it just has that Star Wars game in the Raggedy Ann and Andy toy box there, so I marked it down just because it had a Star Wars item on it. And yeah, let's see, 458's the next one, and that's the ones we looked at, 458 and 459. And the next one's 487, 488. Okay, on this one you got model kits. So, this Darth Vader, giant snap together Darth Vader was nine ninety nine. And let's see, snap, giant snap together Darth Vader action kit. Death Star's fallen angel is as menacing as ever. He makes a raspy breathing noise when kids. Let's see push his head back and let it bob forward turn the lights off and watch his eyes glow a big ten and a half inch high when assembled uses two d batteries not included so it wasn't just a model kit it was had lights and sounds that's pretty cool well, i don't know if it has lights it had glow in the dark eyes it says then you got four model kits you got the type now the first one's X-Wing Fighter. These are both 499. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. And then you had the C-3PO and R2-D2. And they were 399. And I think I had both of these. If it's the ones I, ha I have. I think that's the ones. I do have a model kit of both of those. And I've been collecting like vintage model kits. So I want to actually put them together and stuff but eventually but i haven't so far but um i do have both those in the box and one day i'll put those together and if i do i'll make a video of it and then 488 you got this really cool star wars race car track i didn't even know about that i never knew about that until i was researching these catalogs the other day so i thought that was pretty cool it was 3888 and it says 
Duel at Death Star. Exciting play action set recreates the final scene of the movie. Darth Vader and his TIE fighter races to catch and explode Luke Skywalker's X-Wing fighter before it destroys the Death Star. They look just like the vehicles in the movie. Includes two cars that change lanes, two speed controllers, plug-in power pack, six straight sections of track, two 180-degree hairpin turns and tees, lap counter, galaxy billboard, plastic and metal. So it was 38.88. So it was kind of like a race car track, but it was they had spaceships instead of race cars, and it worked like a race car track though. So. If you had that, leave a comment. I never even saw that until I was looking at these catalogs. That's pretty cool. Okay, we've got two more pages in this one. 507. You have this Star Wars poster. I think it's a painting set. Let's see. Four and five. Poster kits. With pre-printed outline posters and felt tip pens. So it was a... You colored in with felt tip pens. They had a Darth Vader... And then they had a two poster kit and one shows ships, the other shows characters from the film. So not really sure what's behind there, but this is one that shows the characters, I guess. And that was the Darth Vader one. That Darth Vader looks really like the Ralph McQuarrie kind of Darth Vader. So that's interesting. They were three forty nine dollars each, but one of them has two of them in it, so. And then the last page is $5.25. And on that page, you got some Star Wars watches. You got one up here, it's got C-3PO and R2-D2, it's digital. And it shows the box it came in. That'd be pretty cool to still have one of those in the box. It was $14.95. And then there was another one here. It's more generic. It's got Darth Vader and some TIE fires and stuff. And it's digital. They were both $14.95. Each $17.95. It was one with hands on it. It's got C-3PO and R2-D2. Okay, so that's all that was in that catalog. The next few I don't have, so I've found pictures online, and I'll be going over those, just throwing some pictures up on the screen of those that I found, um, and then we'll go back to the, the stack over here that I have when I get the, past those I don't have, so I don't have but this one for 1978, and I only got one for 1979. And then for 1980 on, I got most of them, so. But I wanted to be thorough with it, so I'll, I'll throw those pictures up that I got of the, that I found from online. And we'll go to that now. So this is the cover for the 1978 Sears catalog. And it's pretty cool because it has the uh, blue snaggletooth creature cantina set in it you can see up here at the top that place that it was a sears exclusive you probably know the history of that if you're a star wars collector it was um kenner did not have a good photo they just had a black and white photo of the headshot so they didn't really get the action figure right so they made him too tall they had it they couldn't tell what color his outfit was, so they made him blue, and they gave him some space boots. And then when the movie came out and they realized that the character looked a lot different, they redid it with a red outfit and with no boots, with fuzzy feet, and he was shorter. So then they re-released it. One thing I didn't realize until I started looking at these catalogs was that they actually sold this without the Cantina playset. I thought it only came with that, but I've seen these uh, two packs they have for sale for three sixty six each that they had a blue snaggletooth and a greedo, and then they had a walrus man and hammerhead. I don't know if they actually shipped out the blue snaggletooth 
in those or if they ship the red snaggle tooth, but it has the blue one pictured. Then they have some three packs there. Um, one of them's got two stormtroopers and a Darth Vader. One's got two Tuscan Raiders and a Vinyl Cape Jawa. I don't know if they pictured the Vinyl Cape Jawa in any of the other catalogs. I don't remember seeing it in those, but um, I, that one's there with the blue snaggle tooth there, though. Then you have your Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Death Squad Commander, and then another set with Chewbacca, C-3PO, and R2-D2. Then on the rest of the page, you have the Death Star playset, and then you have an X-Wing fighter, and a TIE fighter. And then at the bottom, you got a lightsaber that's inflatable in yellow, and it says it was made out of vinyl, inflatable vinyl, so it's kind of like a blow up pool toy type lightsaber i guess if anybody had one of those let me know in the comments and that finishes up that page and then now on the next page we have mostly some generic space toys i'm actually going to do a separate video on a kind of generic sci-fi space toys um that's in the catalogs so that'll be on a different video. But we do have a couple more Star Wars items. We have the Chewbacca plush doll. Then we have the... I think it's the 12-inch Darth Vader. It says 15 inches, but I think it's the same as the 12-inch. He might be a little taller in that scale than some of the other ones that were 12-inch. And then you have the die-cast toys up at the top. I always thought those were overpriced for what they were. They didn't really do anything. They were just metal ships that didn't have any function. And they cost about three times the price of a three and three quarter inch figure. So I always thought that was something I wasn't interested in when I was a kid. So I didn't have any of those. Then we have another watch page. And we got that C-3PO watch with the dials and, or with the hands. And then we have a Darth Vader watch with the hands. And then we have some pajamas on this page. We have a pair of white and yellow pajamas with a C-3PO and R2-D2. And we got some white and blue pajamas with a Darth Vader. Then on the next page, we got some really cool star wars overalls i wish i had a pair of those when i was a kid those are cool <laughs> then we have a star wars belt down there in the very low corner it's that first one on the top it's kind of hard to make out but i believe it's got darth vader and a lightsaber and maybe fighting someone then we have some more Star Wars pajamas and a robe. The robe has kind of a Star Wars pattern like those curtains did in those sheets back in the day. <laughs> then you got a pair of pajamas that's got Chewbacca, and one pair that's got Star, uh, R2D2, and you got another pair that's got a Stormtrooper helmet. And then we get to a page that's got some more Star Wars books. It's got the Star Wars storybook. It also has a Star Wars Punch-Out Make-It book, which is pretty cool. It says it contains eight different three-dimensional models of, of characters, vehicles from the movie, no cutting or pasting. So I think I had a book kind of like that for The Return of the Jedi, but I didn't realize I have one for Star Wars. I've never seen that. Then on this page, right around the middle, there's some ponchos. I'm not sure what's going on with those ponchos, if that's part of it, or if they, those kids have on masks or what. But it's kind of weird looking. And then this page has the Play-Doh set again. It's that Death Star play mat. It comes with a x-wing fighter we've seen this one before and then this page has a star wars projector thing 
and uh, it also has that crank movie thing where you put the cartridge in and it crank it and it plays the movie okay the other thing is called a give a show projector it says it battery operated plastic projector projects pictures up to eight foot by eight foot on any wall or surface it includes 16 star wars film strips 112 slides and on this page you have a uh, paint set and it's it's called dip dots i think it's just basically a watercolor paint set where you wet the colors and then you kind of paint with it then we're up to the 1978 montgomery ward christmas catalog on this page there's a star wars watch and two belt buckles up there and a sleeping bag that's the watch. It's the same one we've seen several times before. Got R2D2 and C3PO. It's got hands. And we've seen the Darth Vader belt buckle before, but I don't think we've seen the R2D2 one yet, so that one's new. And then there's the sleeping bag. We've seen it before. Then on this next page, we got more pajamas. And there's a set of pajamas that's got Darth Vader on it and then we have some more uh, Star Wars bed linens these are pillows there's this pillow it's the same pattern as the Star Wars sheets that we've seen before and these are not the same pattern but they obviously go with that sheet set and that's the whole ad there those pillows up in the corner, that's the front and the back, so. And then on this page, there's a Star Wars, it's not really the Star Wars soundtrack, but there's a album that has the Star Wars theme on it. So they prominently displayed that in large letters. You could get it for $16, it's four, a four record set, or four eight track set, or four cassette tape cassette. And then, then we got the the hand blasters again. We got the Han Solo blaster. And then we got the laser rifle. Which is more of a stormtrooper gun. And then we got that racetrack again. So I'm surprised I didn't know about that. Especially if it was in two different catalogs. There's a close up shot of that. It's hard to tell in that picture what the little race cars look like. They got it all distorted, which is kind of blurred. So that doesn't really help any of the, the zoom in shot. And then on this page, we got that toothbrush again. That infamous electric toothbrush. I guess that's supposed to look kind of like a lightsaber. On this page, we got watches. Um, there's a new watch I hadn't seen before. It's a digital watch. I don't think we've seen that one before. And then we get to the toy page. Something interesting down there in the lower right corner. We'll talk about it in a minute. And it's got the Death Star playset there. Which was a really cool playset. And then up above it there you got the land speeder and the x-wing fighter and the white tie fighter and then you had a punching bag that looked like darth vader that would have been fun to have and you have that model that has darth vader with the glow in the dark eyes and it's supposed to make breathing sounds when you push his head back or something then you got the Play-Doh set down there again. It's the same one we just saw in the other catalog. Then you got your remote control R2-D2 again. Then down in that lower corner, you got those, it's called barroom theme figures. I thought that was interesting. It was They're not anything like anything I've seen in Star Wars, but I guess they were trying to cash in on the 
Star Wars franchise, so they're not cantina patrons, they're barroom scene figures. And, and the description says, anyone that's seen the movie remembers the barroom scene. Kooks. Here they are, eight inches tall and fully jointed. They're dollar ninety nine each. They're Yogg, Rydell, Rydall, Tago, and Bicko. There's Yogg and Riddle, I guess. And you got Tago and Bicko. Looks like he's got a whip or something. Tago looks like something off of Star Trek, I think. Or maybe that gremlin on the Twilight Zone movie. And then we're up to the Sears 1979 Christmas catalog. Okay, then we get another page with pajamas. And there's a robe and then several different gowns and pajamas with the same um, pattern. It's got that C-3PO and R2-D2 pattern. And then there's another pajama page. And there's a Darth Vader robe and some pajamas with a Stormtrooper helmet. And then there's some Darth Vader pajamas. Then the cool ones are those brown and yellow ones with the Boba Fett. That's awesome. And then we get to the watch page for this catalog. Got that same R2-D2 and C-3PO watch. And this time we have a Darth Vader watch. And on this page up towards the top, there's a Darth Vader ceramic bank. There's a close-up view of that. Then we get to the bed linens again. Several different bedroom sets. They got some oversized towels. That's pretty cool. Then the sleeping bag and then the bed sheets and the pillows and the shams and comforter. And then that's a different size, I guess. Also got drapes. And then we get to the record section for this catalog. And it has that story of Star Wars book and audio cassette that had the actual audio from the movie. And there's the Play-Doh page for this catalog. And we got that same Play-Doh set from before. And then we have that Star Wars movie viewer that you have to hand crank to make it flip through the... the little film strip inside it that little cartridge goes in it then we get to the action figure section for this catalog and we have that same star wars cantina adventure set we have the die cast vehicles and you have the patrol due back there's an adventure cantina adventure set had the blue snaggletooth with it and now it's got the red snaggletooth on the set of two with the greedo and the snaggletooth so i'm wondering if the other catalog did come with the red one and they updated it but then you have this set that's got a bunch of figures and it shows both of them and it i think they both came with that one so I'm not sure about the other set. It might have came with the blue Snaggletooth and the Greedo the year before. And then this is the 12 inch Boba Fett. Then we have the, up at the top, we have the Millennium Falcon playset. And up above that, we got the X Wing Fighter and Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Then we come to the Montgomery Ward 1979 Christmas catalog and we got a pajama page and it comes with these pajamas have a Darth Vader C-3PO and R2-D2 on them and we have the watch page there's two different digital watches one's got C-3PO and R2-D2 and Darth Vader another one has Darth Vader and R2-D2 on the band and Star Wars logo on the face 
this is a new thing in this one. This is the books. They were like expanded universe books. They had stories that were outside the Star Wars movie. And then we have the sleeping bag page with that same sleeping bag from before. And on this page, it has that electronic game up there in the right corner. Star Wars Electronic Battle Command. And then in the lower left corner on this page, we got the Han Solo Blaster and then the Stormtrooper Rifle. And then we get to the toy page on this one, the action figure page. It's got the Death Star playset. Down in Below that, there's the carrying case for action figures. And then you have the Land of the Jawas playset. And above that, you have the X-Wing fighter and Darth Vader's TIE fighter. Up in the left-hand corner, you have the Millennium Falcon playset. And then you have the Jawa droid factory playset. And the Rebel Troop Transport. And the Remote Control R2-D2. And then down there towards the bottom you have that uh, Remote Control Sand Crawler. And you also have that Patrol Dewback. And then they had that Star Wars van that was kind of cool. It was like a larger van. It wasn't like Hot Wheels. Then you got the new... 12 inch Boba Fett action figure again. That finishes up this catalog. Okay, so now we're back to the actual physical catalogs that I have. Um, this is the 1979 JC Pennies. And I'm going to start on the action figure page on that. Alright, so we got the Millennium Falcon. Up here with a bunch of stormtroopers, and it ran for twenty three eighty eight just for the figures not included, <laughs> just for the Falcon, which is a good deal for that big vehicle. And Death Star's going up a little bit; it's twenty one eighty eight now. And now they got the due back; it's only five ninety seven. Didn't include any figures. I don't believe anything included any figures on this page. Um, and you got the radio controlled draw a sand crawler and, and the remotes on these looked about like the remotes here, except they were brown. If you notice, they're about the same. So I don't know if they would work on each other or not, but, um, but then they had the re-release of this one that they did with the, um, I think the saga collection. They re-released -re that through an exclusive, we'll say with a FX previews, something exclusive. Anyway, it's, it's not remote control. It's just based off that mold, but it's pretty small. The one that came out at Disney Parks a few years back, it's bigger and it's it actually makes noises and stuff and lights up. So it's a lot better. It ran for twenty six eighty eight or twenty eight eighty eight. I'm sorry. And then there's that remote control R two D two again. And then there's some more of the diecast vehicles, and I think they had these two and one of these. I forgot in the last J C Penney's catalog, but now they got another. I think Darth Vader's Tie Fighter is the one they added. And then they got a, a Y-Wing and a Millennium Falcon and a Death Star. I mean, a Star Destroyer. And then here's that remote control land speeder again. So that's a pretty good shot of that. I never had that as a kid. And uh, it was 1144 in this one. And then you got some sets of four, 747 each, so... First set, you got a Greedo, a Walrus Man, and a Snaggletooth and a Hammerhead. And then the second set, you got a Luke X-Wing, and Power Droid, and Boba Fett, and R5-D4. 
And Boba Fett hadn't been introduced yet, except for in the holiday special. So that's kind of interesting. And then you got C-3PO, R2-D2, Luke Skywalker, and Ben Kenobi. And yeah, these sets are the same as the year before. You got Han Solo, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, and the Jawa. I noticed the heads, this is the big headed Han Solo in the 1978 J.C. Penney's catalog. It had the, the small head. But they both had the cloth Jawa. And then they got the Darth Vader, Sam People, and two Stormtroopers. And they still call it Sam People Warrior in this one. And then you got the Troop Transport. And they re-released -re that a few times, I think. But that's the first version that came out. It had all these little buttons up here you could push. Make different sounds. It actually had the same kind of technology as the pull string dolls. It had a little record in there. So it got messed up. It like, sounded like it was going like chipmunks, like going fast. And then number seven, it's not a really good picture showing what it is, but that's that Star Wars final action figure case. You flip this hard thing over and it's got little slots to put your figures in. But you could turn it that way and you had like a, a little base you could stand them up with the pegs. It was only $5.49. That troop transport was $14.44. I don't know if I mentioned that. And you got an X-Wing fighter and it's $11.44. And you got Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, and it was 1144. Alright, and then we'll do that we did with the other one. We'll just kind of go to the, in chronological order from there. I like to start out with the action figure pages. And then just find whatever else they got the Star Wars merchandise. All right, so on this page, right next to Mork from Mork up here, you got a Darth Vader, an R2-D2, also a Stormtrooper, pajamas. And that's all. It's on that page. And then you go to 296. And there's those, that Star Wars bedroom, bedroom set again. Now it says Empire Strikes Back, but it's still the same Star Wars pattern they had before. So they had pillowcases and comforter and sheets and curtains or drapes. And they got sleeping bags this time. I don't think you had that before. And I actually had these Superman bedroom set when I was a kid. I wanted this one. I don't know if they were sold out or what, but I ended up getting that. So... I think they, my mom said they sold out of the Star Wars one and I had to get, she had to get me something else so she got the Superman, which makes sense because it's on the same opening there. And I was a little get, getting a little old for Sesame Street, so. But I still have all that whole bedroom suit somewhere. I pulled it out and took it to college with me and everybody was like, man, you got the coolest bedroom suit. <laughs> I was a college age kid with Superman drapes. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's see what's next. We got 380. I was thankful I have friends in college that didn't make fun of me for being a geek. They could have, like, really gave me a hard time, but they didn't. 380. Right. I got 380 marked down for some reason. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay, I didn't see it. They got work from work and... Mork and Mindy here. Andy Gibb. <laughs> anyway, so you got your 12-inch Luke and Leia figures. They got this, these over here like with the Barbie doll type figures now. Instead of on the action figure page. but um, They still sold for about $7.88 each. They only got the two. They don't have as big a selection as they did in the previous JCPenney's catalog in 1978. And then 401 the next page. I turned right to it. And I thought this was cool. I did not know they made a Daggett doll from Battlestar Galactica, but that's cool. 
<laughs> anyway, there's that Chewbacca doll again. It was ten ninety nine in this one. You got some cool Muppets and superheroes. I remember I wanted those. I never got those. I did. I got the Chewbacca doll. My sister had that. All right, and then we had. Let's see, four one. Let's go to four sixteen next. Okay, and that's that electronic, electric. Star Wars toothbrush again. It was five thirty three. So the next one's four fifty two. Okay, we got a Star Wars projector here. It's on the same page with the Viewmaster stuff. So it was called a slideshow projector. It was six seventy nine. Which was kind of cool when you were a kid because we didn't have VCRs at that age. And it was like 1979. So, I mean, if you wanted to see Star Wars on the big screen, you had to get your little projector and project it on the wall. And it was just still slides, basically. But... And then 461 is the next page. And we got a Play-Doh set. It was only four seventy nine. Came with a little X-Wing fighter. And you can make figures. With Play-Doh. And it had a little mat. And go over a couple more pages to 464. Some old, old Atari stuff. 464, you got this electronic Star Wars game. And it's called Electronic Battle Command. It was twenty nine ninety seven. Uses six AA batteries. <clears throat> it was twenty nine ninety seven. Then the next one's on page four seventy. And that's that other one we saw before. It says it's ten dollars less than the year before. I thought that was pretty expensive. <laughs> Still high at forty-seven eighty-seven back then. That's that seems high. I'm not gonna read all that again. We read it last in the last year's ad. All right, and then on four seventy-three, I think these are really cool. You got your punch bags. They're only two ninety-nine. You got R two D two and a Jawa. I would love to have those. I would have just been bopping that jaw in the face all day long. Not that I have anything against jaws. <laughs> it was just been fun. That's all. <clears throat> those were made out of vinyl. It says. Then go a couple more pages and get back to the board games again. And there's that same game as before. Escape from the Death Star game. But they also had this one, the Destroy the Death Star game. I never played that one. So if you had that one, let us know if it was any good or not. Leave a comment. I think I've seen it, but I always assumed it was the same game because the boxes look so similar. But this one's more square. And that one's rectangular. So I'd like to see what that one is. We got 484. And 485, that's the ones we started with. And 46 has something. Okay, we got more 12 inch figures. So they still do have all those. And they got Boba Fett now. So they got a Jawa, and Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, C3PO, R2D2, and Chewbacca. And they're all about. 797 to 897 except for Boba Fett he's 1147 I guess because he was new and they also have that droid factory Jawa droid, Jawa droid factory it was only 899 that's awesome that's the one you had to get if you wanted R2D2 to have a third leg you could build R2D2 with the third leg 
or RFID4, I guess. It actually looks like an RFID4 figure. They got posed with it. I don't remember having an RFID4 head. I could be wrong. And it was $8.99. That's a cool price. Then you got those same outfits as before and the same cosplay weapons. You got that yellow lightsaber. And there's about two more pages or three more pages in this one. And then we'll go to the next one. So four ninety nine. dollars One thing on this page is this Darth Vader model kit. I actually had that when I was a kid. I remember me and my dad putting it together. And he had the glow-in-the-dark lightsaber and eyes. And he ended up getting broken because he didn't move much. And I think his arms might have moved. But, uh, you know, being a kid, I wanted to play with it. So it didn't last very long after we put it together. I remember we had to use that cement glue back then. And then 536... And on this page, you got a Darth Vader watch and a C-3PO and R2-D2 watch. And they're $19.95 each. They don't have any digital Star Wars watches there. And then one more page. $5.39. Okay, here's the digital one. So, that's that same one they had the year before. It's got that box again. Yeah, that's a Mork from Mork watch. That's cool. Alright, so that's everything in that catalog. It's Star Wars related. So that finishes up part one of our Star Wars catalogs. Um, that covered 1978 to 1979. Part two will cover 1980 to 1982, which was the Empire Strikes Back toys. And then part three will be 1983 to 1985, which will cover... The Return of the Jedi toys. I also intend to do some for other lines like Buck Rogers, E.T., Strawberry Shortcake, Rainbow Bright. Do some stuff for the girls out there. Um, Dukes of Hazard. Just all kinds of interesting TV shows and movies around those times. Battlestar Galactica. Um, do one for Star Trek, the motion picture. There was a lot of Mego toys around that time. Um, I already did one on Masters of the Universe. I'll probably do a little update to it because I found some more stuff that I'd missed. But um, I'll probably do a part two to it. But anyway, check back. There should be something for everybody. And um, I should have all the Star Wars parts out this week. So like part one, two, and three. Um so check back often, like and subscribe and share and thanks for watching.